Hello there, and welcome to another Commodore 64 playthrough. And today we're going to play through the absolutely superb coin op conversion of Ikari Warriors. Or Ikari Warriors. No idea how you pronounce it. <laughs> <coughs> so, Ikari Warriors, well, what is it? It's a arcade conversion. So, this is the sort of the, the original arcade version, and it's very faithful to it. Um, uh, the idea is you're, you're either one dude or two dudes called Ralph and Clark, and this is Ralph, I do believe. And the idea with this game is that uh, you basically have to go through a map killing people. I'm sure I can manage that. All I could do with getting rid of that tank. Kaboom! And uh, that's it, really. I mean, it's a, it's a vertical scroller, as you can see. Um, and you basically have two modes of fighting. You can shoot bullets or you can fire grenades. And grenades are uh, achieved by holding down your uh, your keyboard. Sorry, not your keyboard. <laughs> what we're talking about. Holding down your joystick. Um, and as you can see, you can also drive tanks, which is quite a cool thing. Uh, I'm just trying to get myself in this tank, uh, which is not going very well, is it? There we go. So when you're in your tank, you're basically um, uh, impervious to damage. But once your tank is damaged, then you have to leave the tank or else the tank blows up and that's you in trouble. So as you can see in the map, you've got all these different soldiers and then you've also got um, obstacles. So these are mines that appear, uh, those sort of screechy little things with lights that keep popping up. I'm just going to pop up oh, there. There we go. Yeah, did well there. Uh, when you die, you become invulnerable, um, which is quite a cool thing to do. Um, and your grenades also help you because of certain things you can't destroy. So, as you can see here, I can't destroy uh, with bullets the... I'm not quite sure what that's meant to be, pillbox or whatever. Uh, but I can um, kill soldiers and the sort of thing. So... You go through the map, um, you don't have to kill every enemy, you can please yourself. Um, it's quite nice the way that you have all this different terrain as well, actually that's quite a nice addition. So I'm just going to get rid of that, and that's cool. And uh, yeah, and you get to sort of points in the map where you um, where you sort of need to blow up a, a door or a bridge or whatever. And also the position of these mines is pretty consistent as well, you can sort of learn the maps. That's a bit of a shame. I appear to have fell out of there, which is not very good. Um, which, so, you know, it's one of those games where you can actually learn it, and that's quite a cool feature, really. Oh, that was a bit stupid. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I do remember playing this. It is a difficult game. I mean, without giving anything away, uh, I am on cheat modes. You know, I've got infinite lives and infinite ammo, so that's why you th you'd be thinking, oh, my God, how's he... How's he doing? He keeps getting blown up and yet he's doing okay. Well, that is why, because I'm basically cheating. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't great at this. I'm not really good at arcade games, you know, anything that involves uh, reflexes and, you know, basically a level of skill. But the, um, you know, the, the, the game itself is a lot of fun. I would imagine if I had um, an action replay cartridge or something like that, I would have had a lot of fun with this because... Um, like most games of this ilk, once you get killed, that's it. You've got to start again. Whereas, obviously, modern games now, you, if you get killed, you can go back to the last place or you can constantly save your game or whatever it is. Um, you know, you can, obviously, I can use the emulators to do that now. But, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Also, there was a lot of games like this for the Commodore. The sort of two main ones you can think of, uh, Commando and uh, Rambo. Well, Rambo First Blood, that's um, definitely one I'm going to feature on the channel because, it's a, again, it's a lot of fun like this one. Um, a little bit more depth to it, but also it's a slightly simpler game. Let's get rid of that tank thing, whatever that is called. But then there was all sorts of clones. There was uh, Gunlaw and Arnie. Arnie's a brilliant game, actually. I might I might feature Arnie on the channel because that is um, that is a lot of fun. That that's um, <clears throat> It's called Arnie because you're sort of meant to be sort of the fictionalised version of Arnold Schwarzenegger with his, uh, his crew cut haircut. And uh, yeah, I could have done without blowing up that helicopter, seeing as that was the whole point of getting to this bit of the map. But there you go. <laughs> yeah, 
you know, you can't beat them all, can you? So, yeah, great. Um, so, yeah, there was a lot of games like this, and, uh, you know, the, the, the arcade machine itself was very popular. Uh, so it was a good one, to, a good conversion to do. So it's got a lot of fans, this, um, this game. Very, very popular game. It's also a two-player game. So you can play simultaneously with somebody else, which, you know, again, for the Commodore, quite an innovative idea. Um, you know, again, the, the, the restrictions, if you like. Um, so, so in terms of actual gameplay, the, the big feature of this game when it came out was the fact you could fire and move in eight different directions. To be honest, from, from a... You know, a 2019 point of view, that actually it doesn't feel as innovative because you there's only so many different ways you can fire. You don't have any sort of degrees of control. You know, it's north, northwest, and west, and so on. So that's a bit of a shame, really, because it's because uh, so if you want to if you want to hit certain people, you have to um, you know basically position yourself in the right way. Oh, and I keep hitting these bloody mines. <laughs> Oh dear, lots of tanks, lots of tanks. Blow them up with some grenades. Oh dear, dear, dear. In fact, grenades are the way to go, I think, in this. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. How exciting. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna do some of those games on the channel. Definitely Rambo, definitely Arnie. Uh, I think I'll do Gunlaw for my Commodore 16 channel because that was quite a nice little um, game for the C16. You know, there's not, uh, if you take strip this down, these games aren't particularly uh, complicated. They're just, you know, shoot em ups. Um, you know, there's no real sort of sophistication to them. Um, I guess the map design is probably one thing that's slightly um, uh, different between this and, say, the Commodore 16, because the maps do follow a pattern and that obviously requires storage um, and, and everything. But. Um, yeah, it's, it's a cool game. Really big fan of uh, of this. And then I guess if I was playing this properly, I would learn the maps, learn the traps, where everything is, and, uh, uh, you know, try and play it without, um, without cheats because all these squares that are appearing on the map, they are power-ups and they're additional, you know, lives and grenades and bullets and so on and so forth. So, you know, you get that sort of additional um, you know, reinforcements if you like on your um, on your little scanner at the bottom uh, I, I read a hilarious piece from uh, one website that says that um, uh, there's two versions of this there's a, there's a um, uh, one by Quicksilver never heard of them guess they never heard of me though either so that's fair enough and then there's also this version which is by Elite and this is the the more popular version as I say I've never even heard of the other version and uh, it said that uh, your, your sort of screen, if you like, is reduced, and that is a uh, to, to make it feel more like the coin op, which I thought was hilarious. You know, <laughs> that's a good idea, isn't it? You know, let's let's uh, let's make you feel like the coin op by um, reducing your field of view. So I'm just gonna run some of these dudes over. Bro, oh, I keep doing that. That's because of my dodgy joypad. Actually, that, that's not me being a, a rubbish gamer. Oh, and I managed not to blow myself up with a mine. That's good, isn't it? Oh, just for once, the tank. Oh, I need to get out the tank. Ooh, that's it. Yes, you, your tanks are time limited. I forgot about that. Yeah, and I think I am back to the uh, the sort of beginning, if you like. It just goes on and on and on this. Yeah, I'm back to the sort of beginning map. So you've basically seen everything about it. So, yes, Ikari Warriors or Ikari Warriors or whatever you want to call it. Good fun. Um, so I suggest that if you like this sort of thing, don't do what I did and put a load of rubbish in it and, and use the cheat codes. Learn it and have a good blast. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.